there are a lot of things that you can still do um, to help out. I know a lot of you have volunteered, a lot of you have given um, uh, food, um, old clothes, um, a lot of you have volunteered your time and that's really good. There are other ways that, that we can help um, and I have drawn up a small list. If you can spare the money, um, buy, buy antibiotics, the um, anti leptospirosis uh, antibiotics and if you have the money to spare um, give it to um, people you know waded through the flood um, the generic brand costs about 40 40 plus pesos per 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 pill you need two and it's only to be given to adults and not to pregnant women and to children. Um, two right away and then two after a week. So you can sponsor um, antibiotics um, for some people. And then you can actually buy stuff that, that's ready to be eaten. The best, I've, I've been told that the best stuff to buy um, are boiled eggs and boiled bananas. Three, um, you can offer to check on uh, other people who are in your um, neighborhood um, post on your status messages that you're willing to check um, also you can offer to take people in um, there are some people who have, have no homes um, and there are people who who um, want to volunteer but can't leave their children anywhere or are fixing their houses but can't leave their children anywhere so offer to take them in if you really can't leave the house um, also, long term, you can personally adopt um, a family in the sense that um, you will watch out for them in the months and months it will take for them to, to rehabilitate and that might mean extending, um, um, extending a, a, a um, loan at very, very small interest. Um, or if you're comfortable with the concept of giving out money, I think in a time like this, a dole out would not be such a bad thing. And then another way that you can help long term is um, there are evacuation centers and there are um, houses that are um, private homes, private establishments, housing evacuees. If there's a way, if you are a professional and if you can do this, if there's a way that you can introduce um, play or art therapy in those areas. Um, I know, for example, that uh, in the Hezon's house, they have 40 orphans there. And um, today, um, somebody took the liberty of making sure that they're enjoying and they're playing so that... Um, the trauma is processed. And those are some of the things you can do to help. But again, the centers all still need volunteers and all still need goods today. Let's do it.